Hi, I'm Erica Gamet with Ajar Productions, and in this video, I want to show you another customer example of a project made with InDesign and In5. This digital brochure was created by the design firm Level East for the Star Egg Group. I'm actually going to reload it so you can see the first page as it builds in. There's a video that's set to autoplay and some animations that happen on top of that. The video was placed in InDesign, just like any image, and video properties were set using In5's video interactive widget. Down at the bottom, there's a navigation button just begging us to explore. It has a nice little rollover effect as well. At the top of the pages, there's a sliding menu. I'm not sure if they built it manually or if they used the In5 menu build wizard, but either way, it's made of native InDesign elements and it lets you navigate through the piece. There are rollover images on the text. And we can just click on the X to close it. There are navigation arrows to move through the pages as well. And there's more rollovers. I like that they're subtle, but put some movement back to the page to give the user a little bit of feedback, just like a little reminder that we should check for other interactivity as we navigate through the brochure. Each of these menu items down here bring up information on the screen. These are all put together using a series of buttons and the hide and show options. So these are buttons, but so are each of the items that pop up. InDesign lets you set what happens when a button is pressed. Here another button shows while the others hide. It works along the same lines as doing a multi-state object, but instead of showing states, it's showing other buttons. We can navigate easily back to the overview and choose another section. And you can also just walk through in a linear fashion using the navigation arrows here. This Star Egg brochure is a fine example of something that can mimic the look and flow of a printed piece, but really improves engagement with the addition of well-implemented interactive elements. I hope that this example gives you ideas that you can bring to your next project, and I hope it gets you excited to give In5 a try. Be sure to check out In5 at In5.us, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.